Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about migrating from Crystal Report to DevExpress Extra Report and why are we doing this uh, type of project right now? Why we have an increased demand of doing this type of project? And uh, based on, on our experience, what are the main differences between Crystal Report and Extra Report? So let's start with the first uh, feature. Let's call it like that. That is Visual Studio Integration. If we see here in this slide, pretty much, and actually, let's make it bigger. So you can see it better. So if we see in this slide, the integration between Crystal Report and Visual Studio is a little bit more limited. Yeah, it shows on the toolbox in the Server Explorer, preview windows, but when we get to the design part, it, it, the, the experience with the Visual Studio, it, it pretty much goes away because Crystal Report has a separate Windows uh, application. So it goes out of Visual Studio to that uh, form and everything is done there. In that regard, the Express Extra Report, everything is happening right there in Visual Studio. And you also have scripting. So you can do things in your events before printing, after printing. And it has a lot of other events that you will be taking advantage when you are doing your reports. And in that regard, if you are a C developer, pretty much is following the same methodology like events and reacting to the events and debugging uh, in crystal report we cannot debug like that in extra reports we can and uh, also Jose correct me and grown but crystal also have his own scripting language that is really similar to visual basic uh, no it has visual basic and something like their own language so it has both but the thing is that um i was talking about this with you some days before that we were talking about php that I was able to run PHP in Visual Studio. And then I realized that what I like about um, the, my development environment is not the language itself, it's the tool. So in something like Excel reports, everything is like Visual Studio-like. It behaves like Visual Studio because it's Visual Studio in the end. If you go to Crystal, I mean, the menus are integrated, but then it's a different application in a different runtime, in a different technology. So it doesn't feel exactly the same as how you will feel with with extra reports. So I think like it's about the, the user experience. If you're like a .NET developer, any type of language that you're using .NET, uh, for you will be more familiar to work in DevExpress extra reports than in Crystal reports in that sense. Yeah, and regarding a script in Crystal report has something uh, called formula that it, you could achieve similar events, but it's not the same uh, experience that we're used to. If you are a .NET developer, if you are a chat developer that you pretty much follow like in Windows form, you have a button, you click on it and something happens, then you go and you put your code there. So extra reports does allow you that. So, and let's move to the next slide. And this one, I think it is the, the winner, why we are actually uh, choosing extra report over Crystal report. And pretty much is because the supported platform in extra report is completely every, everywhere. It's completely cross platform. If we see here from Windows form, web forms, NBC, core, Blazor, WPF, Net five and the next six that is coming in November. The, think about that only in Crystal Report, US WinForms, WebForms, and MVC. So if you are a Mac user, you will not be able to do your reports on Crystal Report. But if you are a Mac user, you pretty much can embed it, your report designer of Extra Report in your Blazor application, in your web application, and you can use it in Mac, you can use it in Linux, everywhere you are. So it has that capability, it will take advantage of all the performance gains that the next six have. It will take advantage of every new feature on the language, every new features in the runtime and so on. Also, it's not only that, Javier, I think that, well, like, um, this is some, it's kind of easy to overlook, but we've been talking about this, like this last week with you, is about the CPU architecture. Since .NET is running not only in different OS, like Linux, Mac, and so on and so forth, it's also not running only in those OS. It's running in different architectures because, for example, you know that right now what is really popular is the a a ARM like type of CPU, the one that the phone uses. For example, Mac is moving to that type of architecture. There are some uh, Oracle Linux servers that are in that type of architecture. So if you want to be in those type of environments, uh, you need to be in .NET in general. And who is in .NET? Extra reports. So you can run it in not only in different OSs, but in different CPU architecture. That's really important. 
Okay, let's move on. Now, if we see here, just a quick visual will show us the amount of control that the Express Extra Report has and the ones that the Crystal Report is uh, presenting. One thing that is really important to mention here is that the Extra Report has a binding mechanism. So pretty much every control that you can develop, every control that you can do for your application, you can embed it and you can bind it to your Extra Report and show any visualization. So if you do, are using your WinForms application, you can and need to, to bind to any WinForms user control, you can actually bind it and show it in your Extra Report right there. Yeah, actually for me, that's the one of the, that I consider the winner. Uh, for me, the two more important is like the CPU architecture and different OSs and this one. Because if there is like, if you're missing a way to represent your data, you can just make your own control if you want and make like whatever you want. I mean, you can even include third party controls inside of your report. So if you see it in that sense, there is no limitation on what you can uh, draw in the screen in that sense, because you can get a, like they express controls. Windows Forms controls any control, like in general, and even third party control. So, what else do you need? It's like you have everything there. So, you just need to be able to think, okay, this is what I want to show. This is how I would like to uh, put the data there. And then you make your own control, and that's it. And the great thing is, like, because the extra report are using all the time all controls developed by DevExpress, they get every feature, every enhancement that DevExpress is putting in all those controls. So the Express is continually improving all their controls and those is translating to improving the use of them in extra report, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about deployment. Deployment is another uh, hot topic because for crystal report, you will need to, to install a runtime that it has a lot of library and there is a registration process and so on. In the Express extra report, the only thing that you need is to like the, the libraries, just get your nuggets and you're good to go. And here it's important to mention that if you have different versions of a crystal report, so you need to have different runtime installation, they can conflict with each other. They, you can use it, but there are some workarounds about that. But it's not only that, Javier, is that, okay, if you're a .NET developer, you are used to things like, well, you don't hear this anymore, like the GAC. Do you remember the GAC, Javier? Like, I do, I do. I mean, now everything is new and so on and so forth, but I mean, if you are a .NET developer and you're writing your application in .NET, you are used to the way that the assembly proving works. It's like, I look for the DLL in the bin folder, then in the OS, like the GAC and so on and so forth, right? But for Crystal, that's a totally different mechanism because they come from a different technology like COM technology and components like the ones that used to in Visual Basic 6. That's why it makes the registration more cumbersome in that sense. So like, uh, I will say that in here is like um, the same what you got in in Link, for example, that you wanted to have queries doing objects, so you do it in Visual Studio. You want to have like just one flavor, one tool that you know like really good, and then it's a report is your tool in that sense because um, it's used the drawing system of .NET and like Windows Phone, for example, and everything works in a .NET .NET manner, .NET way. So it's not changing your tool or your mindset for anything, like not either registration, deployment or anything. Just, just go as a normal .NET application. So that's what I consider the best is like, you have just one thing to think about it. If you can do it in .NET, you can usually do it in X report. Perfect. So I think that we already covered this, but let's briefly touch again. A crystal report, you have your classic Windows desktop, desktop version. That's how you actually do your reports, how you design them. You have that uh, Windows desktop version that you are going to be using to create your reports. But in extra report, you can make your own uh, report designer and it will be supported in any platform. So you create your own Blazor application and you insert the report designer and the report viewer. You create your own Windows phone, WPF, ASP.NET Core, MVC. So pretty much you can create an end user application that you can distribute you to your user that pretty much you will have the wizard that you can select your any type of data source, Excel data source, XML, JSON, your database, and they can connect to all those different data sources and they can create their reports. They can create their uh, data visualizations for the manager or whatever they need. So you can distribute all those applications and you can embed 
those designer and viewer in your own application. So I think that that's a, a, a great feature. And not only that, Javier, is that remember that uh, it's not only that you can include it, you can modify it in your own way. I mean, you can like create a, a window that shows only the entities on, of your application, remove the connections to third party you can re so, remove the preview, uh, you can modify yeah. the preview, modify the designer, add new actions, add new parameters. You, you can do it's, so, it's available for you to, to intersect and override and customize to your needs. Exactly. So imagine that if you're doing an ERP, you want to show that it's integrated with your system, you can just modify the designer, and there is one thing less to worry about. I mean, you have your complete integration with your system without having to tell like, hey, you need to have Crystal, for example, and your application and explain the runtime from Crystal. So the integration is even more tighter to your application. Absolutely. So let's, let's talk about updates. If we see the last few years, the trend is Crystal report does a new version every three to five years, to four years. The Express Star report, they have two big updates every year and they have a lot of uh, minor updates with a lot of fixes every month. So they are actually on top of everything that is new, everything that is coming, everything that is, all the feedback that the community and the users are having, all the errors or everything. And they are doing all those fixes monthly and you will have two big uh, updates every, every year. So that's something that I think that is good to take in consideration. And the last slide, for example, is of course cost. So let's talk about cost for a second. If we go to the original site for DevExpress, we see that the price is $5.99, but that again, include complete cross-platform. You can distribute it in all, any, as much application as you want and so on. And if we go to the Crystal Report, we have a $4.95 and it gets expensive for there. So again, that's uh, our experience. Uh, this is a brief video just to show a few difference between Crystal Report and Extra Report. One thing that I want to say is like Crystal Report, by any means, we're saying anything. They are a good solution. They have been in the market for a lot of years. They are stable, so a lot of people use them. But nowadays, with the whole new uh, .NET chief that is unifying Net Core and Net Framework and all these Net sakes, I think that Crystal Report is getting a little behind. And they express Extra Report is is riding that wave of the next six mm -hmm. and everything else. So lately we have been approached with a lot of uh, migration projects and we have to uh, say that there has not been, not even one feature that we have increased a report that we have not been able to migrate to the Excel report. So with that, I think that that's pretty much it covered what we wanted to talk on this video. Hope you guys find this useful and see you in the next one.